yes we're in our kitchen again with another video today we're going to fry up some fish some red snapper look at that guys so we're going to use, need this for the sauce because we're going to make like an escabeach sauce to put on top of the fried fish so we're going to need scallion carrot onion pepper thyme <laughs> vinegar some sugar some salt guys if you have red pepper and green pepper you can put that also or yellow pepper you can put that also in your sauce but these are the ingredients i use it now so over here i have a pot with oil already hot in so now i'm just going to take my fish make sure the the oil is very 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 hot guys so now i'm going to take my fish and i'm going to place it down like that inside the oil just like that guys inside the oil voila as soon as you drop that fish inside that oil guys you're going to put it aside so you don't want it to stick on another one you're going to take the spatula and you're going to the tongue and you're going to turn it you're going to flip it one time flip it one time on another side just like that guys you see that and when you leave that fry as dry as you want some people like the fish well well dry like me i love when the fish dry 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 and some people like the fish a little bit wet but today i bring the dry fish so guys the fish is finished to fry so now i'm going to make the sauce so i have inside this pot two tablespoons of oil so I'm going to add my season to the pot like that. Guys, you don't want the season to cook too much. those color guys imagine if it didn't have the yellow pepper and the red pepper or pretty that would look I'm going to add a little bit of salt for taste You want when you bite into those season in that carrot, you can still get a little crunch inside it. We're going to add the white vinegar to it now. going to add two teaspoon of sugar granulated sugar to the sauce the sugar guys bring out the flavor inside the season you're going to leave that simmer for like five minutes guys and then we're going to throw it all over that fish you're going to taste that pepper that vinegar oh my god as you can see guys my sauce is finished so i'm going to turn off the heat take it from the fire over here i have my two fish i just to do like this guys all over that fish to make sure all that goodness guys come out of that pot inside that fish guys for me i like to take a piece of green lemon and i like to squeeze 
use it just like this just like this all over my fish there you go guys Jamaica fried fish with escovive sauce guys remember to like share subscribe and tell me what you want me to see to see me do next and remember guys God is love